6 October 2020, and I'm joined by Mr. Tinashe Jonasi, President of Ideal Zimbabwe. How are you, sir? Ah, very well. Uh, very blessed. And, uh, and how are you, you too? Ah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So today I want us to quickly look at the events that have happened in the past week. Okay. Specifically, there was a government gazette which notified the public that certain MDCT representatives are now replacing MDC Alliance MPs in parliament, including Dr. Tokozani Kupe. What is your view on this new development? Yeah, my, my view is that it's just a continuation of them implementing their, um, the, 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 their, their, their harvesting from the constitutional court ruling. And obviously, they would do maximize the harvest. And uh, it's, it's now obvious that uh, Dr. Kupe is now the official opposition in the parliament of Zimbabwe. OK, so what do you think? Is this development progressive? Where are we heading with Dr. Tokzani Kupe in parliament and a number of, in fact, a huge number of MPs that belong to Nelson Chamisa in the same parliament? What is bound to happen? No, I, I think it's, a, it's a progressive because the, as opposition, we need to change our game plan. Uh, the, the crying that the, 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 the judiciary is captured, the, the Zeki is captured, that cry is, is leading us to nowhere. So Dr. Kupe is an engaging uh, kind of leader. So that's what we need now. Parliament is to, re to represent, to debate, and to, 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 to create laws. So I, I think it's progressive. Uh, that opportunity was given to, 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 to lead Chamisa and he refused. And he, he refused the Congress, and now he wants the Congress. And so, I mean, the, the country must move forward. We can have differences. We can we, maybe sometimes we are not happy with each other, but the country must always move, move forward. Okay. So I'm showing you on the screen the, the government gazette. I'm sorry, I, I think I've hidden my government gazette. That is the government gazette there. And I hope that you are able to see. The people who are appointed here is um, Dr. Tokozani Kupe, Yvonne Musarurwa, Moyo Lindani, Sauke January, Munochinswa Memory, Sibanda Loazi, and Makone Sipo. That is the, the, the people that are appointed as MPs. Is there any particular person there besides Dr. Tokozani Kupe that you think? is a good appointment. Uh, up to so far, um, I think our parliament is always, uh, people who are in parliament, in, in our parliament, they are just there to, to get their cars and their allowances and fewer vouchers. Uh, except I, I, I respect um, Doctor, I mean, I, I respect uh, Honorable Chinotimba. I respect uh, Honorable Muliswa. Uh, I'm still to, 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 to realize that there are other parliamentarians in, in, that, in, the, in, that, in, in that August House. Okay, so in your view, the past parliament of the MDC, in fact, since the MDC was formed, have they made a difference and what can they do to improve even to do better than what ZANPF has been doing. My, 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 my problem is when uh, political parties in Zimbabwe compete against each other. That, that, I think that's where our, our demise, our problems emanate from. We are saving one country, which is called Zimbabwe. We need to work together. Surely MDC has got uh, some ideas, ZANPF has got some ideas. We need to come together and, and, and build the country. This thing of competition is a, prob it's, it's a problem because remember, MDC can run the councils by producing councillors and mayors. But ZANU-PF has, has got, a, a, I mean, the, the, the minister of, 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 I mean, 
the minister of local government is, 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 is above everyone. He can even fire the whole, um, uh, I mean, council and replace it with a, an interim. So, I mean, we don't need competition because Zimbabweans, we are not good at competing. We, 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 we always take a competition as a fight. You know? So, we, we, by nature, I think Zimbabweans are not I mean, competitors. We, we, we are not noble in, 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 in loss. We, 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 we are bitter. We, 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 I mean, so competition is, is, is killing Zimbabwe. The competition between MDC and ZANPF is killing us. We, 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 I mean, we, we, are, we, are, we are bad players in, in a game of politics. Okay, so if you were Dr. Kope and you got into parliament now, You've got 109 MPs. Is this not an opportunity that you would use to call for a GNU so that you also have a part to play in government? Um, okay. To me, a GNU or, an, or, an, or not a GNU, the important, the, the important matter here is the anything must be done in good faith and considering the, 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 the I mean, the majority of people who are suffering are ordinary people. Now, so as long leaders have got good faith, good intentions, uh, any platform and any opportunity, they are going to use it to, to, to build our nation. So to me, our, uh, the progress of, of our country must not be limited to a GNU. If they form a GNU and they agree on it with the ZANU-PF, it's fine. If they don't have a GNU, still our leaders must have good intentions, must have the ordinary people it had. Okay. Now I'm showing you here on the screen the senators. The senators that were appointed here are eight. So that is Njovu, Dorothy Moli, Kalipani Pugeni, Moyo Tamani, Moyo Gertrude, Denga Pinio, Njovu Chief, Kumalo Numalanga, and then number eight, Chisoro Chengwe Teti. There is a particular question I want to ask you here. And this is to do with the, the fact that there are two people who are in Dr. Kupe's old MDCT leadership who are in this senatorial list. Is this fair? Um, I, 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 I would want to talk about, uh, in particular, Chief Ingov. Yes. Chief Ingov, I think he has qualified to be a senator through his financial uh, muscle. Uh, it's no secret that he has been bankrolling the, uh, the MDC Trangirai. Uh, he, has been, he has been sponsoring uh, the late uh, Morgan Trangirai, and he has been also bankrolling um, uh, Madam Kupe, his uh, political uh, aspirations. And Mr. Pugen is the, the spokesperson of the Dr. Kupe. Uh, I think. You know, it's always our politics that uh, uh, jobs for the comrades uh, cut the development, uh, I mean, uh, deployment. Okay. But you talked about the MPs, that they're there just for the cars. Mm -hmm. What have senators really done ever since we, we introduced senators in Zimbabwe? Have they done anything? The whole Senate, senator... Uh, uh, it, it's just the jobs for the for, 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 for the comrades. There's nothing. I mean, if you, even if you go in the streets and the, of, of Zimbabwe and ask people, uh, what what is how does a senate uh, works? Uh, I mean, differently. If you want people to, to, to tell you the difference between the the, the, the parliament uh, and, and the senate, I mean, no one no, really knows. We, we tried to copy what is happening in the U.S. And we always want to import a concept and ideas. To me, to have those two houses, it, it's just the, to, to, to employ uh, friends. The, the, we don't need a Senate in Zimbabwe. Uh, parliament with members of parliament is enough. Okay. So if someone was to say, Dr. Kupe is smartly put herself in parliament and then put her two closest leaders into Senate. And then she's going to somehow control Bulawayo City Council using the mayor. 
do you think she has a strategy to totally take over both the upper house and the lower house and councils? I, I think uh, when, you are, when you are a politician, the moment you get any opportunity uh, to, to grab power, you, you, you know our politics, it's a smash and grab. So now that she's an interim uh, president of the party, she would always uh, uh, utilize the, 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 the privilege and to climb higher and to make sure that uh, uh, competitors would suffocate. Right. Mr. Tinashe Jonasi, as I said, I want us to keep this very, very short. Is there anything else you want to say before we close? Uh, I, 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 I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the current development uh, because the, I always talk of the issue of that we need to be united in, in Zimbabwe. Leaders, ordinary people, everyone, we need to be united. So Dr. Kupe, I support your stance on, on engagement. Uh, we, we all know the MDC Alliance, they, 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 they think they are the anointed. They, 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 are, they, are, they are always in their own world. And they, they are going to realize very soon that they are in political, political quarantine. Okay. I think on that point, I would like us to end it. And as I said earlier, tomorrow there will be a judgment on the case in which Secretary General Douglas Monzora mm -hmm. is trying to kick out the youths that are camping at Harvest House. So I hope that we'll be able to quickly talk with you after that development to hear what yeah, you but think. Very but very the judgment, nice. the judgment is obvious. Uh, I mean, uh, Mr. Monzora is going to win because the, this is a case within a case. The main case was the constitutional, uh, I mean, court ruling where Mr. Uh, I mean, Chamisa lost. So these are just the games, but uh, the, Mr. Monzora would win. Okay, I want to talk to you about this tomorrow. And let's hope that it turns out the way you say. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.